Hello everybody, the Black Stealth here. And today I'm going to show you how to install the Aether 2 mod. So, two things. First, watch the entire video through before you comment. And the second is, look at the Q&A before you comment your question, just in case it's there. It's in the description. So, here is the mod. And you're just going to go to this picture didn't really load. So you're just going to go to this link in the description or you can like search it in Google or something. So right now this is for 1.5.1. The first part of the tutorial is going to show you how to downgrade it, then it's going to show you how to install it. Once the mod updates or once Minecraft updates, I'll just put an annotation that links you directly to the insta installation part so you can skip all the downgrading stuff. So at the Aether 2 page, you're just going to scroll down Uh, to right here. So it says it requires Forge, Player API, and Player Render, and re Player Render API. So you're just gonna download all those. I already downloaded them. They're kind of big files. Actually, that one wasn't. That one downloaded really quickly. Um. And then, right here, you're gonna download it, the Aether mod. So either from Mega or Mediafire, doesn't matter. I downloaded it from Mega. It's kind of cool. Um, and it's 100 megabytes, so it might take a while to download. So the next thing, so if it's updated already, if it's updated to 1.5.2 or the current version of Minecraft, you can skip version changer. And I'll put an annotation to skip right to MC Patrick. But now you're going to download version changer right now, currently, on June 10th. 2013. So you just download it right there. And it's an AdFly link too. Or as well, whatever. So skip add, download, accept, download. And now you're going to download MC Patcher. And normally I'd install mods directly into Minecraft.jar, but this is much easier. I'll just do this. So you're going to scroll down towards it's all other platforms right here, and you're just going to download via AdFly. One, skip that. Okay, so now I'm going to need those two things, and put this on my other monitor. Okay. So here are all the things that I've downloaded pre-recording. So if these came in folders, all of these files need to be in zip files. So if any of them came in folders, for example, like this, or like this, basically if they came in a folder, do as I do for all of them. Open them up like this, highlight all of Highlight all of the classes, which is just a quick command A. Right click and hit compress. Now this may not be 12 items for you. It obviously depends on which item you're compressing and then how many classes they have in the mod at the current time. So this will work for versions of Minecraft after 1.5.1, 1.5.2 or whatever. So just compress that. And then here's your mod and you'll just name it like uh, player API or wh whichever one you zipped up but then if they just downloaded it as zips because you're using Google Chrome uh, then you're good to go so I don't need any of that so I have all mine as zips so the first thing you're going to do if you if the mod hasn't updated that you're gonna change your version so open up mvc.jar and hit open and it'll come up with this cool little logo right here. And then select a version. So we're just going to scroll right down to Minecraft 1.5.1. And now you just simply click change. And the little status bar will come up down here. Okay. And 100%. Okay, so it says it's patched to 1.5.1. So now is where the really modding tutorial begins. So it's 
extremely simple. You're just going to open up MC Patcher and click open. And this bar will also analyze it. It goes pretty quickly. Now you're going to uncheck all of these things. And once you've done that, you're going to click this plus button right here. Now you have to go and select these zip files that I have over here. So mine are in on my desktop, I mean, so I'll just go right there. And first I'm going to select Minecraft Forge. And it comes up with this, simply click OK, and then OK again. Now click the plus again, click Player API, and then OK. Now plus last time, and do Render Player API. Click Open, and OK. So once you have all of these, click Patch, and click Yes. Now make sure that they're in this order. If they're not in this order, it will not work. Now we can click test Minecraft and Minecraft Forge will set up. And let's take a bit slow, then that's nice. Unless I'm not very easy. Alright, and here we are. So if you just got a black screen, as you saw it went to a black screen, then it showed the Mojang logo. If that stays for like a minute then go watch my black screen fix so now that you have this uh... you can just quit out of that and can actually quit out of MC Patcher too now just gonna open a new finder window and you're going to go to your name and then library but if library doesn't show up you're gonna go up to go up here you're gonna hold down the option key or it might be alt the option or the alt key, whichever one, they're the same key. And it'll come up with the library right there. You're just going to click that. Now you're going to go to application support. And you're going to find the Minecraft folder, which is right here for me. And you're going to go into there. Now you see that there's a mods folder right here. If there's not one, create one. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to drag. So as you can see, I have Minecraft Forge, Render Player, and Player API. All of those I already installed. Last one I have is the actual mod. So I'm simply going to drag this zip right into the mods folder. And that's it. Now you can just open up Minecraft as you normally would. And come up with that bar. And it comes up with this. So it's the Aether mod, as you can see it worked. So, I don't know, I like the Aether menu. And you can make a new world. And try it out. Now, I do know that this mod does work with shaders, because I tried it out. And it looks so awesome. So, as you know, you just create a portal. With some glowstone. Put a bucket of water in there, and it creates a Aether portal. It'll take a second to generate, and here you are. So yeah, that's how to install Aether mod. Look at the Q and A if you have any questions, and if your question isn't in there, comment it. I will um, help you out, and there are also some other people that help you out, and. That's about it. If you want to request a mod, put it in the comments. And uh, sorry my voice is so deep, I just woke up.